Uh, I mentioned the two speed strategy. Mm. So all countries are really dealing with global inflation, global interest rate, while at the same time implementing their long-term development programs. So it's really important in the short term to address your question, which is how do we help struggling families uh, to put food on the table? And in this uh, perspective, I think the initiative of uh, the food dump or food assistant uh, assistance uh, program is a good one, right? It, uh, it's a good idea. Um, and actually the World Bank um, uh, has been involved in the discussions uh, with uh, DSWD and others. And in fact, we've been, we've really uh, tried to help bring in the international experience of food stamp. What is really critical is how you design it. And um, currently there's a pilot uh, being implemented mm -hmm. and the result of the pilot and the impact evaluation uh, of that pilot will really help in designing a very solid, robust program that uh, certainly will be very open to the support. You know, because of climate change, you know, there are some parts of the country where you have oversupply of water, you have too much water, and then in other parts where you have less water. The solution to that is really storage. If you have water storage, you can transfer water from where it is abundant to where it is scarce. Right? Um, unfortunately for Philippines, like many other uh, countries in ASEAN, the storage capacity is still not uh, sufficient uh, to perform that um, uh, objective of really transferring water and managing water in a way that will actually uh, uh, help the multiple functions that... Uh, is expected from water management. One is irrigation, the other one is water supply, and the other one is flood management, for example. So I think this is a really critical area of investment. And I know that uh, the government is um, uh, working on this. Uh, we've had some discussions with DPWH. I think they understand the importance of this. And uh, going forward, and it's also in the PDP, in the uh, Philippines Development Plan. Mm -hmm. So the World Bank is also uh, very much involved uh, in the discussion and will be very happy to support this agenda, which is really in, in very, a very important agenda. We have a similar discussion in Thailand right now, mm -hmm. um, which is facing exactly the same problem. Mm -hmm. And we've really helped on the analytics first. It's really important to start with analytics. Analytics will help you to understand the multiple dimensions of the problem and to tailor the solution uh, to that to the problem you're facing. So that's what we are doing in Thailand and in the Philippines. We'll be really, really happy to support this, in, uh, this area. So the Philippine economy is resilient. Uh, and this is because the structural drivers, as I mentioned, to growth are quite favorable. Uh, to grow, you need investment, capital investment and accumulation. You need labor uh, in abundance and you need productivity. Now, if you take the first one, the government has been uh, investing quite a bit on infrastructure. In fact, it's a flagship program. There's a lot of investment going into uh, infrastructure, uh, and that will crowd in. That will crowd in private investment, and the two combined will really boost capital accumulation and one of the drivers of growth. You take labor, Philippines. If you look at the Philippines, the percentage of working age. Uh, population as a share of the total is growing. In many countries, it's declining. When you have that, the working force growing, it fuels growth. It helps you to have the labor you need to power growth. And productivity is a combination of a large number of uh, policies and programs. One is competition policies. The PSA Amendment Act is opening up sectors for competition. That will help. That supports uh, productivity if uh, fully implemented. Infrastructure development is supportive of productivity as well. Uh, innovation program, supportive of productivity. So all those uh, uh, factors combined, plus the stability, is really critical. Having a political stability in the horizon of your forecast will help you to really leverage all those factors and to grow. So that's why we are quite um, um, confident that uh, you know, the growth rate in the Philippines uh, will be quite robust. Now, headwinds will, will, will be, uh, will be uh, at play. Uh, what is happening in the global economy, as I mentioned, is really not favorable. It's not a 
it's not a very favorable external context for growth for any country, including the Philippines. And that will knock down a little bit the growth prospect. But those structural drivers will, will actually be uh, uh, very potent in, uh, in supporting growth uh, going forward.